Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to Saturday. What are is it? What are we today? Twenty first, twenty second. I don't. You know, I have no idea what the date is. I think it might be the twenty second. But anyway, it's Saturday, and uh, this is what we've had for weather all day today. So she says, "Yeah, it's kind of doom and gloom out here." So uh, <laughs> it's only sixty degrees and. I don't know if it's going to rain on me or what. So I decided I would take a moment and show you guys the uh, the, the little kit that I got. Stuff. The, my motorcycle emergency kit. So let's go do that right quick. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to mod the GSA here a little bit. But for accessories, I'm going to put an Optimate cord on the bike. You guys know the BMW is absolutely adamant that you do not put a battery tender lead on one of their motorcycles and charge your battery through it. It can end in an unbelievably expensive catastrophe. Do not do that. Use the proper charger and charge it through the port. You can charge the battery, but take the negative post off and set it aside. The battery cannot be connected to it. So at that point, you've negated this thing anyway. So anyway, I'm going to put this on, and there's a reason for that. But let's let's do this piece by piece here. So first, tires. Tires can always be an issue, and it seems like more often than not, when I'm on these trips, somebody has a tire issue. Hopefully it won't be me, but if me or somebody else. For starters, this is a cool little CO2 package. These things have been around forever. But this is kind of a relatively new thing. This allows you to put the nozzle on the CO2 and it doesn't activate the CO2 until you push the, the nozzle down just like you're doing a regular air fill. That's pretty cool, huh? So with that, and I'm going to hopefully incorporate this, stop and go. You guys have all seen these. This is just a four pack of CO2 cartridges. And they, they include, which is uh, pretty important <laughs> pretty important to have. Oh, I went the wrong way. going to get it stuck. It's got four CO2s, but the little bottle. Do you realize these things can go to almost six, minus 60 degrees Fahrenheit the second the air leaves this thing? You can literally burn your hand to a CO2 when you release the air in there. So they give you a little, uh, a little cozy, so to speak. But this is old style, you know, you stick it on the tire. It's a one-way valve. It only it only allows air in, not out. So you put this on your tire, you know, you get this thing ready, and then you can hold it with a pair of pliers, or if you got, you know, George Washington strength hands, you can thunk, lance it. And what it does, this thing has a syringe in it and it pokes the uh the cap on there. But what this one does, you just put this on and it it lances it. And it's live so you just take your your nozzle and just push it down like you're using a regular air fill so that's some cool stuff there and this bag i mean these bags are so durable it's not leather but it's almost like it's leather so got that and this is the cool thing i got that as a backup again stop and go it's a little mini air compressor but it's got a little trick to it so it comes with, you use your battery tender lead to plug the thing in. It's got a fairly long cord, enough to get the front and rear tires. And um, you plug it into your battery tender lead. That is built into this little pump. Let's just take a little bit of look at the pump. I'm not try not to let you see everything right first here. So here's the little pump, a little tiny guy. And whoosh, the cord comes out as a built-in, very short, a lot of these little portable ones are short like that. We sell anti-gravity ones and stuff at work. I had to order this. Well, we're now going to stock these. But anyway, a little on and off. When it, when you plug it in, an LED light comes on. And uh, you fill your tire up. It'll go up to 50 PSI. It'll fill a front tire in about 5 minutes. And I hear like a rear tire around 10 minutes. But how am I going to fix a tire? Let's enter... The Dyna plug. This is the coolest thing absolutely ever. 
This is just a little protective case for it. It's all contained. About the size of a CO2 cartridge. Well, inside, there is three loaded plugs. And this little brass, and I mean it's very sharp. This gets locked into the nose of it. You inject that, pull it out, and the, it snags the brass piece, and it has, you know, a glued whatever um, little the plug patch thing. And the nice thing about it, if the hole's big enough, you need to put a second one in, you can run it beside the first one without catching the loop and pushing the first one, <laughs> the first one through. So you got three of those loaded, and you have a little reamer. So if it's like a little tiny, like a staple hole, it, the hole needs to be a little bit bigger. And then... Uh, if you still have air in the tire, this is a little guy you joust into the hole to uh, hopefully save some of the air and you're not using all your CO2s or burning down your little pump trying to fill the whole tire. <laughs> That's pretty rare. Usually when you got a flat, you're flat. But sometimes you notice them, you know. But uh, anyway, this those uh, syringes lock down into this. And uh, you pay attention to how you pull the nail or obstruction out. Doesn't work for cuts, doesn't work for sidewalls, the typical, you know, tire repair stuff. So, you know, if the nail went in straight, you push in straight, you need to know, you need to insert this the same direction. That tip is so sharp on those little, the little brass tip on the, uh, the patch or plug that you can create a new hole. But anyway, you just boom, go in until she stops, pull her straight out, she's plugged. I mean, the coolest thing ever. Everybody was so impressed with this at work that uh, they ordered these and we're going to keep them in stock as well. So this kit comes with a cigarette lighter and then a little alligator extension. I took those out and I put the Dyna plug slips right into the case. There is literally my entire tire repair kit and that's the size of it. All right there. The CO2s are just back up and for quickies or whatever. So what if I the tire's so bad I have to put a tube in it? So I got to take the wheel off, pull the tire off, unmount the um, TPS, the tire pressure monitor, because the tube has its own stem. So uh, you got to take that out, put the tube in, put it back on. Have you ever tried to dismount a tubeless tire? You gotta get that bead broken. Tubeless tires have a lip on the bead. They are on there crazy tight. So introduce the Motion Pro tire irons. But they're more than just tire irons. They are a bead breaker. You get your wheel on the ground, you joust that between the, the rim and the tire. And you take the other half slides in locks in and you and that thing squeezes squeezes this pushes against the rim these two push against the tire and it breaks the bead of the tire how cool is that then once you get the tire loose you got your handy dandy tire irons to uh, work with it super super cool so we got a way to fix the tires well, well how am I gonna get the wheel off well told you guys about cruise tools this is the cruise toolkit for BMWs now I'm gonna add some things to this you know this is the the kit as it comes one I'm surprised it doesn't come with the Allen key for taking the rear wheel off that thing's recessed but it's another 16 bucks retail for that and uh, I wasn't thinking about that not being in here but that's not included with the kit it does have a I said T60, didn't I? It's a T50, a Torx 50. I'm thinking of the 60 Newton meters that you torque it down to or 45 foot pounds, whatever. Well, there's a longer one that's longer this way and it goes into the recess of the rear wheel. Otherwise, the only way you could take that wheel off would be to somehow another fight 60 Newton meters with something like this. That's never a good thing. But anyway, these cruise tool kits told you guys I'm a huge fan of it um, the one that Gregor
sent me the little pocket knife style one. It's already over there in the Harley in a, in a nice little happy home. Thank you immensely again, Gregor. That will uh, uh, come to great use. So it's got the full array of all the Torx bits that you need for a BMW. Full set of, of Allens. Um, some zip ties. This is more of a Harley thing for you anti-Harley guys. There's some good old bailing wire. A little tire pressure gauge. Some locking pliers. An adjustable wrench that opens shockingly wide for its uh, for its size. And then if you got a F800 or something like that, 700, 800, this is the E-Torx. That's a Torx box wrench. And I think there's certain things I can't think of where it's at on this, but... I think there might be an e-torque somewhere on the water boxers might not be and then the uh, you know 8 10 12 13 wrenches and it like you've seen it's a uh, open and box and then it's got a set of sockets and i mean like snap-on quality this thing is nice like really nice even the guys upstairs i wonder if they're showing my kid and some of the other texts they go geez that thing's really nice and how are you gonna hold that big old? Whoa, hello, Wynn. How are you gonna hold that big old Allen when you're knocking the nut loose? Well, you have this adapter, and she uh, goes right in there. You can knock it loose. How about that? So that's specific to BMWs as well. Then you got standard screwdriver and electrical tape, um, some 242 Loctite. But you can lock tight on one of these things, but and you have it if you need it. But you know, and I always add little things to these. You know, like one of the things is little wire repair things. You know, you got the duct tape and these little clips. These little things, little the peas, or I forget what they call them things. And it's just some junk that came off of some accessory thing. And these are great to leave one of these in the kit. And uh, Gregor. Again, thank you. This won't fit in the kit, but this will go in the bike. Tire pressure gauge. The inflator has a gauge that everybody says works really well. And then, of course, we're going to be in Washington State, so I have the uh, um, road map and the, uh, what do you call it, the BDR or whatever it is, the off-road course. we got both of those maps inside there. Um, the all-important fire starter in case you're stuck on the side of the road. And then we had these things. I'm already using one of them. One of them's on my climb backpack. It's the cell phone one. It's got a big flap. It's thinny. It's made for up to a phablet size phone. But um, some of the guys there are, are using this one to hold their GPSs. So <clears throat> they were cheap. I bought two of them. And it's something this guy's uh, invented, has a patent for it, where it wraps around backpack straps. And it comes with this thicker one and a thin one as well so anyway that's my my kit up to this point <laughs> it's small doesn't weigh a lot it'll stow away easy i mean everything's small and this well that too all this stuff will save your butt i'm telling you go prepared so that's the kit stuff I bought yesterday. How about that? <laughs> All right, I'll go put a battery tender lead. I'm gonna use, I got one of those labelers and it's got the little waterproof, cool little labels that come out of it. And uh, I'm gonna mark the end of that, you know, for the whoever grabs this thing next. I'm gonna tag the end of this thing, 12 volt output only. So some yahoo doesn't plug a battery tender into it don't want to do that on a bmw all right so here's my setup there's the positive that's the little jumper port that you connect to and grab a ground when you're like doing diagnostic and stuff there's the ground the fuse is is tucked in wires you can two, see the two zip ties and she's tucked down here to make sure she's not gonna get caught in the spring or anything like that but how you, how you like my little note on there? <laughs> 12 volt out only. And uh, that thing will stay there forever. But it's just a, just a tender lead. And you can use it for charging whatever or 
cell phones, plug a USB adapter, or anything else you want inside that thing. And uh, and it'll run the little the little pump, a little cover and stuff. But there's a couple of things in the. I went and sat down and went, whoa, there's a couple of things I forgot to show them. So uh, let me put the cover back on here and uh, I'll show you two more things. BMW first aid kit and that bag that I got. This first aid kit. Man, this thing is something else. I added one thing to it. I added a, uh, a tourniquet to it. This bad boy is packed. It's one of those uh, tourniquets. Man, really nice. I mean, well, well packed. This side's got like a folding lid on it. Just tons of stuff in there. BMW, man. They don't mess around with stuff, do they? So, let's just set this aside. That's pretty cool, though. That thing all in that bag. I mean, tons of stuff in that thing. So, this nutsy thing here. <laughs> here, we'll just set it on, on the stool here so we can get a better look at it. The camera's probably waving around. I got it all strapped down tight so it stays folded up. But this is a little waterproof bag that's in here. And I don't know how you have access to the netting on there because that seems to be... Oh, that goes into the netting. Uh cross out the waterproofness and a solid steel I mean solid steel handle going across that thing but this thing is like overkill and this is a magnetic closure here just clicks in twist the camera down just a little bit more here so you got this outside shell which is kind of the folding area and then it's got like a little tub in the bottom of it. So it keeps that little tray shape, but it's rubberized. And it's got all the different straps for, for hooking up to uh, different applications, you know, mainly BMW motorcycles. Look at the owner's manual that is seeing. This is a bag, not a motorcycle. Now there is a waterproof bag, but it's in the waterproof housing. So, uh, God, that smells so good. So anyway, you get all your stuff in there, zippy zippy. And then you, uh, just like a typical waterproof bag, you just roll it. And uh, I had it packed that one day. That thing's huge. That thing will hold a bunch. And then once you get everything done, you strap her to the back. So I'm thinking I'm going to have myself a, a little bit of a backrest action going on here. But I don't have to worry about the uh, any of my stuff getting wet. And whatever I can't get in the bags, which, you know, I'm not going to carry that much. We're just going for a few days, a week. I'm not that far from home. But still, it's Washington. It could pour down rain. And then uh, when you get done, the little straps, you know, the manual tells you where to clip them on. And they're short, medium, and... Uh, long straps depending on your application the manual explains all that and uh, you just take her off and grab her by the bag and she's just a like a suitcase you're carrying along that's pretty cool stuff huh sorry i forgot to show you guys that at the beginning but uh she's nice they were giving this thing away as part of a bulletin on the 2017s and this thing's 265 bucks man uh, do they build these incredible products they are quite proud of it and if anything happens you just like swing this thing around and she's uh well you know you'll you'll take care of business just with a handle <laughs> all right that's probably enough goofing around with the bmw today so other than just camera gear and clothes and stuff i'm ready to go I can't think of anything else. I'll add a little trinkety things to the little emergency kit. I always do extra zip ties and just little trinkets. But well, there she is, ready to go. Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, it's been doomy and gloomy all day today. 
Oh, it has. I so, mean, it just looks like yeah. it's going to rain any second. And it's just this light little mist. And but, just little holes in yeah. the clouds everywhere. Little patches of this and that going on today. But that was fun doing a vlog like that. I haven't done one of those kind of vlogs in a long time. As far as I know, the camera didn't even record anything. <laughs> Hopefully it did. Hope so. That'd be a bust, huh? But anyway, it's a relaxing day, fun day. Just like, turned everything off and just mom myself in the muds yep and then tinkering around with myself getting ready for the road trip it's gonna be fun <laughs> for you yeah sure hope so anyway there's my little motorcycle road trip survival kit very cool <laughs> whatever it's worth little things i've thought about over time just never got around to well i got stuff like it but they got something that's official that'll last me for years and years very good so, anyway I think I recorded a lot. I don't even know how much time I recorded. I was out there forever goofing around with stuff. So I think we're going to roll out on that. How about that? Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Sunday or Monday. Thank you. Weather woman, what's it supposed to be like tomorrow? About like this. Mm. I don't care. Yeah, that's Rain, just... cold, whatever. I feel like going for a ride. We'll have to take care of that tomorrow. Yep, there you go. Then we'll take the old Beamer for a ride since we we're tinkering with that all day. Oh, there you go. Hey, <laughs> just follow suit. That'd be good. Yep. We'll see. All right. All right. See you guys tomorrow. You guys take care. Thanks for watching now. Yes. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.